I don't know how, but Ryan Seaman might have gotten fired. But we don't know how. But I might know how. Okay, so the following is based entirely on speculation at this point, and neither the band, Ryan, or Dallin have actually commented on any of these rumors, right? Mm-hmm. I want to, I want to, I want to set that, I want to set the stage accurately before we dive in, okay? <laughs> Everything you're hearing so far is, I guess, some level of hearsay because it hasn't been officially confirmed, right? Can we get a flashing, like, allegedly across the top of the screen? Yeah, I'll do it in post. <laughs> So last week, uh, Ronnie Radke, vocalist of Falling in Reverse, uh, of which Ryan Seaman was formerly a part of, uh, tweeted the following. And this is just uh, the starting point to get us where we're actually going. Yeah, this, this is a lot of quote and quotes over here. Ryan Seaman stole $26,000 from Dallin Weeks royalties. This is Ronnie tweeting. Money that wasn't his, Dallin asked for it back. Ryan said, contact his lawyer. That is theft. Ryan used Dallin's credit card without his knowledge to buy gas, hotels, and gifts for his girlfriend. These are facts. That's once again, let's double put quote quotations on that just so we can establish once again that none of this has been officially confirmed yet. Uh, Ronnie continues. Ryan also stole from my band, lied to everyone, played into my bad reputation for sympathy. took advantage of a lot of people. Ryan Seaman is the snake. You will all see soon. Now we're starting to paint a slightly more opinionated, less factual picture here. Sure, sure. Moving forward, Ryan Seaman is no longer in I don't know how, and ironically, I'm the one that announces it on the internet. These are facts. Now, like I said, this is just the starting point to get us where we're going. What the story is with Ronnie Racky and uh, Ryan Seaman at this point, I'm significantly less interested in, and I want to talk about this new information and sort of how it sp- on out and the conversations that it sparked around it right so this less to kind of this this led to like twitter discourse right and user gruhukin uh shared a facebook post after these comments were made from dallin week's mother-in-law that sort of corroborated what ronnie had said earlier about ryan being fired specifically she said he had secretly signed himself up as the owner of dallin's songwriting royalties totaling $26,000 before he got caught, which Ronnie had mentioned earlier, and had been fraudulently using Dallin's credit card. Let's stop here. There was another Twitter user who made a extremely fun, but, you know, slightly yeah. insensitive kind of post that's like, it's nice to see somebody in a band getting canceled for a novel reason. Like, what was the last time identity theft was the reason? Like, somebody's getting kicked from a band. Right. And I'm like, that is a fucking fair point. And I was, like, racking my brain. And I'm trying to think to myself, have we seen anything it- on the same level of this sort of accusation, which I guess is where it stands currently? We've we've made a slightly similar maybe a, uh, admittedly like immature joke in the past where it's like, when was the last time you saw a band member leave a band due to natural causes? Like there's a reason our heart like stops married. every time a notes app apology right. is posted by a band, right? right? Because yeah, yeah. we expect the worst. Yeah. This is somehow bad, but weirdly the only time it's ever been in a fun way for the last sure, five years. Sure, sure. Now, once again, Racking your brain, is there any other instance that you feel is on par with member got kicked out of band for at the at the very least stealing money? I feel so like- so there is like a loosely I, I haven't had a chance to look it up, but there's a a weird connective tissue between I don't know how and water parks because I believe it was a tour that they were on together. And I believe it was that same tour where water parks like uh, left their uh, uh, merch guy behind because it Why was. I don't remember any of this. So it used to be like the Bless the Fall merch guy, and he was doing some time with water parks, uh, and they caught him stealing. Dude. And I, part of me is like, I think it was also literally exactly twenty six thousand dollars as well. Well, that's over the course of like the tour or whatever up until when they found it. Well, that's certainly allegedly all this shit, too. That's certainly an interesting observation. Right. But I think it was when they toured together. And I remember the venue was in Hartford, Connecticut, the Webster Theater, where they they made this discovery or this claim or whatever. And maybe that's where they they left 
the the guy behind but i do think it was a tour with water parks and i don't know how that's obviously not a band member that's very interesting that is a very interesting little nugget of information maybe, uh did did we ever get clarity at all on what happened with my chemical romance's drummer or, or oh it was the that the is actually drummer. another good example it was the or the drummer. No, 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 after no. no. It was so left. it was Bob Breyer, right? It was. it was the Black Parade era drummer. Yeah. Um, and he was kicked out of the band. And he I was in three cheers. Though. There was some level of like rationality around like money or something like that that he mm-hmm. was like removed from the project. Mm. But in recent memory, this doesn't seem to come up a lot, right? Yeah, like we talk about the My Chemical Romance thing, but the reality of it is that's like at least a decade old, right? At, at, at the very least. Now. I don't know how has since tweeted the following message. I don't know how, but you can pretty much say anything you want after they don't know how bit, and everyone will think you're extremely clever and attractive. Also, everything is hunky dory. Also, where's the album? The quote tweets for that, Marcos, are an absolute gift from the heavens. The, it's incredible. F- Twitter field day in terms of memes implying that Dallin is lying at gunpoint. <laughs> <laughs> and there's something about painting that specific picture. Well, what do you mean lying? Because I actually don't really know what information you can actually properly. Like what you can glean from that? Yeah. Because I, I can see it as as an omission, uh, or maybe that's not the word, but like, I, I can see this as, yes, uh, Radke spilled the beans. Here's the meme posterizing uh, the quote tweet. It's the dog with his mug of coffee and the fire around Everything him. is fine. Yeah, Precisely yeah. correct. Right. And right. And then the other side is um, <laughs> uh, Ryan Seaman's still in this band and I've lost my fucking mind. Like, it, it's hard to really gauge what is going on exactly. Because, like, you see... Everything is hunky dory. Also, where's the album? Now, does that mean everything is hunky dory? As in, like, yeah, we we found some shit out. Uh, it's just me now. It's it's a vibe. We're That's chilling. the implication that a lot of people are sort of pulling from this, right? I I can see it the other way though. I can see it as like, hey, now uh, things are fine. Everyone, Th- things are okay. Every nothing's changed from where we last left off. Do you see a variation of this at this point? Like at the, at this point, as far as we've come in this story. Where Ryan Seaman actually just still is in this band, and they don't talk about any of these accusations. So, like, do I, you think they could just, in any way, never even bring this up, and this moves forward? Or do you are you already convinced at this point that this one hundred percent happened? So, say Ryan Seaman's not in this band anymore. If you're Dallin, you don't even really have to address it if you don't want to. Like, who the fuck cares? But if he's still in the band. If he's still in the band, it makes it a lot more interesting. <laughs> because, like, it's a funny notes app apology read where it's like, listen, guys, Ryan Seaman definitely didn't do all this nice stuff for his girlfriend. And then it's like, then where would this even come from? And it's like, I am I am not staking all my faith in anything that Ronnie Radke tweets, but it's the fact that we then get this weird sort of like mother-in-law corroborate, like with the same kind of like number. And it's like, (laughs) well, then why would they also come in and say this same thing? Like, what is the net gain benefit of jumping into this if there wasn't a morsel of truth to it? So I guess the way... I, I guess the one thing this is circling way back to, I think Ronnie's first tweet is the fact that um, Ryan Seaman said, lawyer the fuck up, bitch to Dallin weeks. And obviously at that point, this could mean that the reason fucking, I don't know how hasn't addressed it or, or do not plan on addressing it regardless of what is, I mean, assuming this is, is because Ryan seems is not in the band. This anymore. would be the polar opposite of Hunky Dory, by the way. This would be <laughs> catastrophic for the band. Right. It would mean that, like, oh, we're just currently in court proceedings and these things get really dragged out and you can't really say anything or you can't really elaborate on stuff or whatever. Um, That's interesting. So you're saying, in theory, they are so deep into this process that they're already at a point where they could be in litigation. But we're only finding out about it now and acting as if it's like, 
happened last weekend. Where have I don't know how been for the past 365 days? Can you remember a single? So let me let me touch on that. All right. All right. Um. So according to their Instagram, the last show they played appears to be back in October of 2022. Right. So not that long ago. It's not that long ago. Uh, their last release was the deluxe edition of Razzmatazz in 2001 or 2021, which to be fair, feels like a long time ago, but actually isn't that long ago, really. Um, I did also learn that in this process, Ryan Seaman has a podcast called Ryan Seaman and Friends on Adobe, uh, Adobe Radio. Um I and they have like a new episode. They had like a new episode yesterday. I don't which believe Adobe filmed. Radio is a real thing. I I do I I do 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 I I've never right. heard and about it. And they sit down and they talk to other artists in the scene. You've nailed sure. exactly what it is. But, but I found, I've never heard about it. But I've never seen still, it promoted. But it's still going. Like, okay, new episode this week. So now there's this other aspect of this where I feel like, okay, does a week go by? Like, at what point do we get to the recently recorded episode that would right. ever possibly touch on this? But based on the structure, I'm not sure that it ever would. Do we know if it's even music related? At Ryan Seaman sits down with Dallin Weeks, but it's also just Ryan Seaman. <laughs> it's just, he brought a phone into the, the court and she recorded the whole session. <laughs> Um, some people have implied this could be a marketing ploy for the new album. How do you feel about that? Do you feel like that's almost nah. too insane? It's so. I guess the one thing that's most confusing this band has all flair this, for what it's they worth. Got, they got that razzmatazz. Sure. The one thing that's most confusing throughout all this is actually the number twenty six thousand royalties for every song that wasn't the one that blew the fuck up or do bands just definitely not make that oh you're money? saying what the fuck yeah but i mean i mean at that this band had this is interesting this a is actually massive interesting song sam right. right they had a massive song extremely big they were fucking they were on fucking good morning america playing their little hearts out this stupid ass fucking song that went viral mm. it was a good song but like did we put writing credits for like the three songs on the first EP that didn't hit or something? Does Alan Weeks find out that same week that the the label, the manager, and everybody else has been skimming money off the top? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alan Weeks is just like tells like, why did I only make six thousand dollars from this band in the last five years? <laughs> it's like Ryan, is that another new apartment? <laughs> I'm still stuck in this one bedroom since I left Panic. Another little tidbit. That mm -hmm. I want you to sort of remember back on this. Tell me if you remember this. This band was supposed to play a show in Las Vegas where all of their equipment was stolen. <laughs> They're just, they just everything becomes like there's like a new like fold, like What's there's the a new wrinkle line? in right. like uh, things that would have been like just a bad run of luck, like um, a merch guy who was taking money, right. equipment that account, went stolen. Can they account for Ryan Seaman's location in the immediate wake of, of those instruments Who discovered that the equipment was missing? You know, because suddenly you have somebody in your team who maybe you can't fully trust because they've stolen your identity. Once again, all of this is alleged because the band hasn't actually discussed any of it. But I definitely can actually... I would be extremely shocked if this was a ploy for some sort of press for an album announcement or any hype around an album. I don't know how don't need oh, negative press is good press, whatever this band can if they just announced an album. It would have been enough. Press. Yeah. Right. right. Hey, we're, I don't know how we've been uh, in, in the shadows for five months. We're finally back. Here's a new song with a video. Here's an album coming out in four months. I'm with you. The marketing ploy is off the table. Yeah. It's impossible. It's not happening, right? There is one little final bit of this. The Wikipedia has been updated to list Ryan Seaman as a former member. Ooh. Now, technically, that is user input, I For believe. the people, by the people. Right. So... It is it is the final grain of salt that you have to take with everything else that like has been established thus far. But this might be like one of the could be potentially one of the most scandalous stories that this scene has had in quite some time <laughs> that I wouldn't say is 
harmless in any sense, but certainly is a much more exciting level of enjoyment from a spectator's point of view sure. to watch how this plays out. Yeah. Assuming that everyone gets like their due justice. Or are we sowing the seeds for Dallin Weeks to not only return to Panic at the Disco. Oh boy, here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. This is what I was waiting for. But to take the throne as the vocalist of that band as Brendan Urie embarks on fatherhood. So you're saying that Panic at the Disco has essentially set Dallin up for success by cratering the entirety of the band with that last album can we rule it out is all i'm asking so in a sense dallin could come in as the vocalist for panic and by virtue of putting out literally any material at all it would be better than the last thing you heard with brendan yuri it would be the biggest bro move in history all i'm saying and then you have to factor in though like i don't know how is beloved if if suddenly I don't know how spirals tail spins out of control and Dallin finds a familiar home back in panic at the disco, then I don't see how a lot of parties win tune back in. We'll follow up on the story when we have a little bit more concrete material.